traveler or a place shifter, depending on how you want to look at this. Because right now it is Sunday, February 23rd, just to put like timing into perspective for you guys. But you guys aren't watching it until later on this following week. Because let me explain how crazy this next week is going to be for me. Okay, so it's Sunday right now, like I said. On Monday, I'm flying to Boston. On Tuesday, I'm speaking at Harvard, which I know I can't even, it gives me heart palpitations to try to think about it too much. Like maybe after I speak, I'm speaking on the power of social media. So maybe after that happens, I can update you guys on how it went and stuff. But right now, I really just like can't think about it or, I mean, it's just gonna like make my brain possibly explode to wrap my mind around what I'm going to be doing in like two days, less than 48 hours. So um, yeah, then on Tuesday after I speak, I'm flying to Tennessee because my mom is actually gonna go be with her sister who is my aunt because she's having surgery. So my mom is gonna be with her. So Jelly Bean and my dad are at home. And I don't know, it was just one of those things that I was like, I'll come, I'll drive Jelly Bean to school and make her lunches before and stuff like that and like make dinner for my dad. Obviously he could handle it being alone and taking care of Jelly. It's not that I have to be there, but it was just like, I'm already on that side of the country and why don't I go be with them? So right now I'm filming my February favorites and I know that it's not technically the end of February, but I've gone like, three weeks through February, so I don't think that last week of February is really going to change what my favorites are. So I decided I'd go ahead and do this and then I'm gonna upload it, you know, end of February, beginning of March, you know, however that works out. So yeah, that was a very long intro and explaining, but basically that's why you guys are time travelers or place shifters, because I'm in LA, but I'm in Tennessee. So like, where are you watching me? Or, it's like you're watching me in the future. Like I'm talking to the future right now. Anyways, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my favorites. I don't have as many as sometimes I have, but I feel like I have more important favorites. Like the ones that I'm mentioning are literally like my favorite things of February 2014. So the first one is a new type of gel enamel. Um, this one is called Fuse, and it's by the same makers that make Sensationale. So that was a gel at home, like gel polish that I used already. So I knew that I would probably like this, but then I wanted to try it out. So I just got one color because I was like, I'm not exactly sure how I'll like the texture and stuff like that, you know? And it's, it's a different concept than just straight up gel. So I'll explain it to you guys, and it is really awesome. So basically, Basically, it comes with this one finger, how cute is this, this one little finger uh, LED light that is going to cure your fingernail polish, but it's one step. You literally, you don't do base coat, you don't do top coat, you do one coat of the color, cure your nail, and you're done. And the thing also has a USB cord on the end of it, which I think is a really great idea because you can do this like if you, I know with me living in LA, you never can predict how traffic's gonna be, so sometimes I'll leave to go meet someone somewhere and I'll be like, it's gonna take me an hour, and I get there in an hour and 30 minutes, and other times I leave and I say it's gonna take me an hour and it ends up taking me 20 minutes. So I feel like this type of thing, like you could plug it in and charge it through your laptop and have it. So I don't know, I just, I think it's a smarter idea to have a USB cord because it's more, it's like easier to take it around with you. So all you do is you buff your nail, you do it one nail at a time, you buff it, and then you use the cleanser that comes with the LED light, and you just wipe the finger off so there's no like oil or debris or like leftover traces of anything, and then you apply one coat of the gel enamel, and I love this color. What's this color even called? I don't know, Na No Way, or maybe Nano Way, but it's like N-A hyphen N-O-W-A-Y. Yeah, okay, so you do one coat of this, and then you cure one finger at a time. In here, you press the little button on top. It cures it in 30 seconds, and then it automatically turns off, so it's not like you have to set a timer or like try to count the 30 or anything like that. So yeah, I thought this was really cool, and this is what I'm going to be taking on my cruise at the end of March, because if I need to like touch up my nails or anything. I don't want to have to have a base coat, a top coat, all that stuff with me. So this is my new favorite at home sort. If I'm going to give myself a manicure, this is what I like to use. They have a ton of different colors. And also you can use this for your toes, which is crazy. I have had gel on my toes before and it stays for 
ever. But basically all you do is you take this light off right here and you flip it around so you can put it over each toe and then turn it on. And so it's like a finger slash toe LED light, which I thought was cool. So I might try this on my toes, I don't know. Maybe I should like do it right now. I find that the Fuse nail polish, it doesn't stay as long as typical gel and I think that's why this is gel enamel and it's a mix between kind of like a polish and a gel. It's gonna stay longer than a regular polish will but it's not as much as a gel and I also think it doesn't harm your fingernails as much as a gel will. So that's why it's like kind of like a fuse between the I just got that. Fuse. It's called Fuse, and it's a fuse between a polish and a gel. Oh my goodness, they are so smart. I did not know that. Okay, basically, moving on. That's awesome. So the next thing I got, I'm going to be talking about food, guys, because I'm very excited about this. Okay, so have you guys heard of Nature Box? If you haven't, um, you're going to hear about it right now because I am addicted. So I wanted to try it out, so I just got the starter pack. So you can either get it where they deliver you five snacks, 10 snacks, or 20 snacks a month. And they come in bags like this and each one has three to five servings. And they all have like no high fructose corn syrup and uh, zero trans fat, stuff like that. So I don't know if they put a bonus one in every month, but I got a bonus snack this time. So I thought it was really cool. So yeah, like I said, I got five of them and you can either pick Surprise me where they'll just send you five random ones or however many you're getting random ones Or you can go through and actually select the ones you want based off of you know Like what type of snacks you like to eat and stuff and this is basically like guilt-free snacking I swear every time I start to get hungry if I just go to one of my nature box bags I don't feel bad about it. It's not like opening a bag of Cheetos or Something like that. You know what I mean? Like it's something that I I still feel like I'm feeding my body nutrients and stuff. Okay, so I'll just show you the ones that I got. The first one is Sticks and Stones. It's roasted nuts with sesame seeds, and this is really good. This is what I go for if I want um, more of, I guess, like that roasted flavor. You know what I mean? Almost, not smoked, but you guys can probably, like, imagine what this tastes like. It tastes exactly what it sounds like. And then the next one are the Lemon Pucker Pistachios, which pistachios are one of my favorite things to snack on anyways. I always have pistachios in my cupboard no matter what. It's like one of my staples. There may not be three things in there, and pistachios is one of them. I just grew up obsessing over them. I don't know why. So um, these are amazing. They're the Lemon Pucker ones, and I definitely recommend these if you are someone that likes pistachios. And then the next one is my favorite one, and next month I might get more than one of these. Okay, so these are the Dark Cocoa Almonds. Stop it right now, you guys. They are incredible, like just so good. It's almonds coated in dark chocolate. They're vegan, so it's not dairy. It's actually made with soy. So, I mean, just so many things about this just make me obsessed and when I get that feeling like around three or four o'clock where I just want like a cookie or a chocolate bar or something I have some of these and I don't feel nearly as I don't feel bad at all really and then the next one this was the bonus snack and it's the harvest nut mix it's trail mix with nuts soybeans and corn and this is another vegan one and this was surprisingly when I first tasted it it has a taste that I liked, but I wasn't like in love with it. But as you eat more bites, it's one of those that kind of grows on you and then gets a little bit addictive. So I have to portion a little bit out in a bowl and eat that because if I just gave myself this bag, I'd probably eat it all. So I can't let myself do that. And then this one is my second favorite. So the dark chocolate or the dark cocoa almonds are my first favorite. This one is my second, and I don't know who came up with this, but I can't decide whether I want to kiss their feet or wish they hadn't come up with them because it will probably be the death of me. Like I might die by eating too many of these if that's possible. They are the blueberry almond bites. I can't even say it without getting excited. Okay, it's crispy almond and rice squares with blueberries and you guys, these are so Good. This is another thing I have to portion myself. I like don't let myself eat that many at a time because if I just sat down in front of a movie with one of these bags, it would be gone like before the movie had started when I'm still on the little play screen before the DVD starts. 
And then the last one is another one that I really love and I there weren't any that I didn't like. The one that I felt like the first bite, I wasn't like, oh my goodness, this is so good. But then as you keep eating it, I almost feel like I liked it more than other ones. But um, yeah, this is the Honey Crunch Crisps and it is the Honey Coated Sesame Chips. They have everything from like banana bread bites and like things like that. So I think I'm gonna do less nutty choices this time and go a little more adventurous next time but I felt like this was just a really good starter box for me so I am obsessed with that and the folks over at nature box are being so awesome for you it actually this whole thing came about they had contacted me and wanted to see if I wanted to do like an unboxing video and stuff and I was like well you know I'm gonna want to sign up and try it first so I'll get back to you and then I signed up and I tried it and I was like oh my goodness so maybe next month I'll do an unboxing video for you guys but this is basically like what was in my box this month anyways and they're awesome and they're giving you guys a 50% off your first order coupon you just go to naturebox.com slash Blair and I will put that in a link in the bottom bar below and you guys get 50% off your first order. I can't decide if I want to stay at this level with the five bags a month or if I want to go up to the 10 bags a month. I feel like if I have more because I'm trying to make this last my month so I'm trying not to eat too much of it but I feel like if I have more then I'll be like well I can have like half a bag a day and then it's just gonna like become my meals you know what I mean but I'm kind of okay with that I'm a little bit okay with that so I'm just excited to go on to my pantry and pick my next ones for the following month okay I need to stop taking so long to talk about everything because this video is getting outrageously long next thing is the foundation that I've been wearing this month that I've been loving and it is the Clinique Acne Solutions liquid foundation and I'm pale so I'm in the color 02 fresh ivory and this is a foundation okay I used to use Clinique if you guys remember when I first started using um or when I first started making videos like six years ago I was only using Clinique foundation and that's because that's the foundation Elle was using and I was younger and I was just starting to wear makeup so I was like well whatever my big sister uses like I should use you know and then they switched up their coloring and it was different it was like there wasn't a color that was light enough for me in that one, but they came out with this Acne Solutions one, and it has uh, salicylic acid in it, so it kind of like is supposed to help clear up your acne while you're wearing it, and I was a little bit skeptical at first, but I started using it, and if you have acne prone skin, I definitely not only recommend this because it is something that I don't feel as bad coating it on my skin as I do a typical foundation because I'm like, well, it has a little something that's going to be helping my skin. Whereas typically when I get home from doing something, I'm like, I need to wash my face and get this makeup off right now because it's clogging my pores and causing my acne and all that sort of stuff. This also is full coverage, so it covers up any of that acne. It's literally like the best of both worlds. So if you guys have acne or suffer from acne or anything like that, I definitely recommend this. They have an entire acne solutions like line that I'm slowly, like I got the concealer as well. I do love that one. Um, so I'm slowly kind of trying to go a little bit further into it, but I started off just with the foundation and became a little bit obsessed with it. So along with my acne prone skin, I got a new face mask that I have been using and it is incredible. So this is one if you have oily acne prone skin. Again, this is a face mask I would recommend for you. Now they had other ones that smelled delicious but they were for like drier skin or anti-aging, things like that, which I'm not really at that point and I don't have dry skin. So I couldn't get those, but I got this one and I love it. It is by FHF, which is Farmhouse Fresh. And they come in the cutest little mason jars. How cute is that? And this one is called Splendid Dirt. And it's a nutrient rich mud mask that is pumpkin puree. It says it is a pore minimizer, radiance booster, skin degunker, just won't do laundry. So it'll basically do everything but your laundry. And it smells delicious. Why can't, was I opening it the wrong way? Wow, that's like crazy. So you can see, I have used quite a bit of it. If you think about how little you actually have to apply to your face, and I've used that much. So there's actually, I've probably used this maybe like six times. And I try to use it twice a week, and I have definitely, the morning after I use it, I notice such a big difference. Like I'm gonna use it tomorrow night, which is Monday night, which is like four nights 
ago for those of you who are watching this video now. Wow, that is just like going to give me a headache. But I'm going to use it tomorrow night so that Tuesday, hopefully, I have radiant skin and I'm not stressed out about that in the morning. And then the last thing is something that is taking us back probably about four years because I'm pretty sure I had it in a favorites video three or four years ago, but it is back to being my thing. So the Macadamia Natural Oil, this is the Deep Repair Mask, and this is probably my fourth or fifth jar of this. And then the Macadamia Natural Oil Healing Oil Treatment. So I take both of these, and at nighttime, I will wet my hair, I'll just flip it over in the sink and comb through it. And then I will mix these two together just in the palm of my hands, and I'll take quite a bit of it. Like, I'm not stingy when it comes to this. Like I take a big serving of the mask and then squirt a ton of pumps of the oil in and then I rub it all throughout my hands and then I focus it on the ends of my hair and then I start working it up and I go all the way to my scalp and then I put my hair on top of my head in a bun and then I apply a shower cap. Yes, one of these babies. So I have such a ginormous shower cap for a reason. I have long hair and I found that when I put my hair up on top of my head, it was hard for me to get a shower cap over my hair, if that makes sense. Um, it just like wasn't big enough. It would leave all of this exposed. So I got a bigger one that I just got from CVS. I think it was like three bucks. And so I definitely recommend if you're going to be wanting to do treatment, if you're going to want to do treatments like this, then I would definitely recommend investing in a bigger shower cap. And then I either like to steam up the shower where it's really, really hot and go sit in there for a little while where it's not like pelting on my head, obviously. I mean, it's not gonna get wet through the shower cap, but it's just more like focused on my body and just like really steaming it up to open the hair follicles. And then I get out and then I sleep with it. So I sleep with my shower cap on and I probably look like an old lady in rollers with a shower cap over it, but I love it because when you wake up the next day and you go in the shower and you start washing it out, it is so amazing, you guys. My hair has never felt as soft, and I don't know why I stopped doing it. Like, I was doing it a lot four years ago, I think, and then I just kind of, like, stopped doing it. I was still doing it enough to have to repurchase the pro products, but not as much as I have been now, and it's incredible. So, yeah, those are my February favorites. you guys have any video requests, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. And thumbs up this video if you like monthly favorites. I personally love watching monthly favorites. And if you guys have any products you think I should try throughout the month of March, go ahead and leave those in the comments as well. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you soon. Bye.